Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Today I would like to go and revisit some of the things we've been looking at in the past and build some new machines. The first thing I'm going to look at is the digital miner. Let's just trundle over here. Because I made a bit of a boob last time and I managed to dig up more stuff than I should have done. Because what I did is I added onto here stone as an option to dig up. In fact, let's have a look, quick look. The actual uh, mining is now finished. Let's have a look, advance the other panel so I can reach it. Yes, I can. So I've actually got 28 to mine. Well, I'll, I'll look at that in a second. That's uh, some testing I've been doing. So what we've ended up with about is, oh, actually we've ended up with about a little bit more than this because I've used a few already. But 93 lapis, 73 uh, diamond ore, and then we want to, I'll just swap those over, 117, well you can see the numbers for yourself, I won't read them out. Well, the one that I'm going to be using a lot of next is copper, because we have plenty of that, and nothing went into the chest. But with the bins, I didn't show you one thing you can actually take items out of bins. So if I come here, for instance, take the configurator and have a look at this. So this is at the moment, is it's actually there, but it's turned off. We've got six stone in this chest, and in here we have stone. So if I simply, let me just check what the configuration for this thing is. I think it's set to items, yes. So if I simply shift right click this, it's, not, it's just doing normal. So now I change it to, it comes, then becomes pull, which pulls stuff into things. And then, no, oh, it says, says push, but I think that's pull actually. And this is push. And you see now items are coming in. So basically the underside we can use as, her, as a mechanism for taking items out of bins, which is quite useful. Good to know anyway. Let's actually move these stone out of, let's move the stone out of here and put them back into this bin. Now the other thing you can do with bins is actually break them without losing the contents, which is also quite important. In fact, I will do this one. In fact, it gave me a stack of stone and I saw that. Not sure why. Okay, now before I go and break the other bins, what I want to do is to show you this. In here, in the user interface, on the configuration side, I've got, actually, let's do a reset here, configure. I set up ores, ore filter, and an item filter for obsidian. You can have different filters, of course, like mod ID, so you could say anything at mechanism might work. I'm not sure how I specify. Oh, that's probably the, uh, the ID of the item, which you have to look up. Let's go back, material, material of, say, um, I think here you drop items in it, so they, so you could drop cobblestone into here, cobblestone. But I don't want to do that, and that would actually replace items. No. But yeah. Let's just go back and go back here. Have I created stuff? No, I didn't. Now here it says radi, which is short of, short for radius. Now it doesn't actually mine in a radius. It mines in a cuboid. So in this case, it's mining from zero, which is bedrock, to 60, which is about four below ground. And you can actually use this to make built a large cave, so you can make a, a cave of whatever you wanted to, at any height you wanted to. And what I was doing, is I was actually mining ore. So let's go back here and have another look at this items here. So here you've got auto pull, and that's what I want to demonstrate next. Let's move the compass out of the way and it's a crafting station. What did I just do? <laughs> I just sent those to that chest at the end. <laughs> right, so what you can do is you can put down a, a bin or a chest or whatever you've got in front of the miner. So I've put it down here and then you can actually connect this, I believe. I haven't tried this. Oops. To the miner so actually I think I'm not sure if I can do it from the top try I've not actually tried that so that should now connect 
And what you can then do is you can set this to being pull, I guess. That one, not push. And then you can hear, you can say auto pull. So now auto pull is on. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to pull from the front. So we've got 28 to two mines. So let's start this. It should say 28 to mine. Now it's going to mine 28. And what it should be mining is, let's have a look at these numbers here, 15, 15. Is it should be mining um, copper ore. Yes, it is. Actually, I want to stop that because I want to show what, what I forgot to show. Now, I said it was a radius of 32. Now, down here, just to prove this, I put some copper ore down here. And you can't see it at the moment. It's just basically it's copper ore. So I'm now at level 59. The jetpack's on. And this is cobble ore. So what's going to hope, hopefully will happen is that this will be replaced with... Oops with cobblestone and it's a and it's a radius as it was 32 which is basically takes us to this next block here so I've got some cobblestone down here as well and this is where it's going to be mining in fact I think it's already mined it so I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's already done that why it hasn't replaced that with cobblestone I'm not sure it says it joins it from the front but we'll see so that's 32, and this was the other one over here. So that should also be taken, and it should be taken to level 60. So I'm again, I'm actually at level 57 now. So let's have a look back on this. Unfortunately, because the graphics don't look as though they're joining, you're never 100% sure if it's actually joined or not. But I'll tell you what we can do. There's another port here. Let's just try connecting that to this. So we shall see if it now auto pulls. So let's start that again. And I'm hoping to see out of here items. If it's not coming out, nah, stop that because stuff is coming out but not coming out of here. So let's try putting this underneath. So it's on the bottom side of this. the bin down say here and let's start this again it doesn't seem to be working let's make sure this is it set to pushing items out hmm and it is configured to pull Never mind, I haven't tried that before, so I shall go and figure it out and tell you next time when I do it, next episode. So anyway, it's mining copper ore, so that should all be coming from there. Those four points I built were the ones which uh, or put copper ore in where it started from. So let's have a look, nothing's been taken from there yet. It seems to start over here. And as you can see, it has mined out this area so far. And we are at, let's have a look. How am I going to do this? I have an idea. Let's just fly up to the surface. In fact, what I can do, of course, is break these items here. Let's stand up here. So now my head is at 61, which is the, the top range of this that's where it's going to mine too. Unfortunately when I was mining stone I managed to do this. Create a huge cavern down here. As you can see it goes down to bedrock. Let's have a quick drop down here because we can. And bedrock's not flat in this particular uh, build because I didn't. Can I get out of here? Install the flat bedrock mod when I actually created the world. Get a bit further forward. Now I should be able to get out of here. Interesting. So where is that finished? Does that finish now? It probably has round about finished. Certainly there. Let's go and have a check and see what's doing. In fact you can see looking at the screen 
that it's actually off, which means it's probably mined all of those. Yes, so it's now finished. And it might have. That was 10.56. Do I have? I think that number's changed. So the other point was here. The other side of the sort of map was here. And you see it's mined from there. At this point here is where I'm standing now. Is actually 199 is this position, I think, looking at the Z coordinate. Yeah, 199 should be this point here. Yes, it is. And that's actually the calculation. So if we come up here and have a look at the center of this, jump on the top of it. So this block here, there's 254 in the X and 167 in the Z. And when you're walking this way, it's increased, it's increasing. So if you add 157 plus 32, it gives you 199. And it's the same over this side, of course. But in this case, the, the X is going down. Right, that's basically it for that. As you see, it's stuck down here as well. And the same thing. So my head is at f should be at 59 because at this position there for 60. Right, that's the digital miner. Now I'm going to break these blocks up. I'll do that between episodes. And I'll see if I can figure out what's going on with that stone. Now the next thing I want to do is to look at my... Actually, there is one thing I did. And that's to build this contraption here. Which is another vanilla machine, as it were, or automatic machine. It's called an AFK. So it's a cobble generator. I want to get rid of this pickaxe. Oh, that's going into that chest, not what I wanted. Never mind. And in here I've got a dropper with pickaxes in. So if I take one of these pickaxes and then start hammering away at this uh, stone here and just wait, it will dig cobblestone. That cobblestone will drop into the hopper that you can see below it and then eventually end up in that wooden chest where you've got the uh, logistic pipe on top of it. So every block I break here increases the counter. I'm not going to explain this because there's a really good video on this and I'll put the link in the description. So in here we have a hopper. So I've broken 14 cobblestone blocks. And here's a, a dropper with, in this case it should have 133 in total. So 14 plus 118 should give you 133. 15 plus that which is actually the durability of the pickaxe. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in here. I'll let you, if you want to do, play with that one yourselves, I'll put that at the bottom. And what it does is it basically creates me some cobblestone, which should end up in here, but it doesn't end up here because it's being blocked by this hopper here. And yeah, you got your 13. It must be a 14th, actually. Maybe there's one in this hopper down the bottom here. Yes, there is. And here I have a little mob grinder, which drops a few mobs every once in a while, and I get this, especially when I'm busy um, making cobblestone. And all that is is basically it's a tower based, one of these towers that you use in Skybox, but doesn't work so well as Skybox because of the mobs being spawning elsewhere. Now, let's go and get on with the factories. The first thing you'll notice is these two are now red, and these are because these are advanced factories. And I'm going to turn this one here into a, and this is a basic purifying factory. We're going to upgrade that to being an advanced purifying factory. 
and you can do that on in situ as well. So if we take um, where is it? I think it's a uh, no, it's not an item. It is a I'll look it up the long way because I've forgotten its name. It's changed its name actually. Here we are tier installer. So I want the advanced tier installer and this basically will upgrade that machine. It's exactly the same recipe as is required for an advanced machine. So you've got these enriched alloys and an advanced control circuit which is two enriched alloys around the basic control circuit. We need two of those and some osmium ingots and a block of wood. Actually I don't have any wood with me but I do in here so that's all right. So we need some of these and these and some osmium ingots. I think that's all we need. So what we'll do first of all is we shall craft two of these like that and I think that's basically we need one piece of wood don't we one plank. Let's go back to this now. Have we got everything? Yes we have. So now this creates an advanced tier installer. So I can take this advanced tier installer here and right click this basic factory. It'll knock the, it'll knock the switch off but we can put that back on afterwards. You see now and right clicks that and put the switch back on it. Turn it on. And you see now we've got five items. And we've got the same upgrades. In fact so I can have a gas upgrade, speed upgrade, an energy upgrade. And what you can do is you can actually click this and you can then take it out. So I've taken out the energy upgrade here by selecting the upgrade I want to take and installing this. As actually I forgot to do one as well. On the digital miner there's a world upgrade, there's an anchor upgrade. And that's actually basically a chunk loader. So there we are. So what you can also do here, let's go back, is you can change it. So here I've got a crushing machine. You'll notice here's oxygen. If I put the crushing machine into this slot here, it becomes, we get out a purification chamber. And this now becomes an advanced crushing factory. We'll put it back in again, of course. And we keep our oxygen, which is nice, and we have our crusher back again. I do need two crushers anyway, so that's how we do that. The auto sort was basically you put one item in, so let's take some copper ore, we've got 64 here. Let's shove the copper ore into here, like that. And this will then go out of there and come into the advanced purification chamber and it gets split across. If I actually turn that off, slowly go into one slot and the others will empty. And obviously for speed you probably want to get it into all slots. Now you can hear everything's going on. We've got lots of copper clumps coming through here. And enriching here we've got some. It's keeping up basically. And in here we should end up with lots of copper dust. And you'll get five at a time from that those machines. As you can see. So that's what that's about, isn't it? So that was the upgrades. This is a transporter config, which I haven't actually looked at yet. I'm going to have to look at that next. And this is fairly obvious. You can change these sides. So what you can't do, however, is to change the color of these. So for example, this is an energy slot. So you can actually put energy cells in here to power this as well. So let's take our energy cell, which I think I've got somewhere. I don't know where that is, do it. It's not in there. That's the electrolytic separator. I must have it somewhere charging that probably. Oh, here it is. Now this is now full of energy. I've got two megajoules in here. So if I come to the 
configurator here and then shift M on it a few times till we get to wrench. I can then right shift right click this. Oh, I thought I could. Actually, that might be another one of those little. You're supposed to be able to shift right click it. It's not working, so I'll just take the uh, the packs on and break it. So now I have that in my inventory at the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is take this upstairs with my crusher. And I want to demonstrate this as well. So I have got a crusher that I've built. And I can put that down here. Interesting, it says no owner when I looked at that. We could put the energy into here. So we get energy in here like that. And what you can do here is you can take these any any sort of item like this what I should do is put some upgrades into this while that's working let's go and get some upgrades made especially the energy ones the most important upgrade of all now what do I need for the energy upgrade this one so it's the gold dust and the enriched alloy in glass. Okay, that's no big deal. If you have 20 glass, that'll give me 10 upgrades, which I don't need. I only need 8, which is 16 glass. And the rest we can take as well. What was that? Uh, enriched alloy. Got those. And forgotten. Gold dust. Okay. We should have plenty of gold dust in here too. Yeah. Right. A speed energy. Now I've got eight energy upgrades. Which I shall straight away go and put in that machine. It makes a big difference to the power. It won't make any difference to the speed, but we will make it to the power. So let's shove those into here first of all. Now look at that machine again. You'll see the energy is probably going down a lot slower. It increases the capacity. So each one of these is about 600 megajoules, uh, 0.6 megajoules, if you want to say. And we're getting this biofuel out of here. And with the biofuel, we can actually do something else. We can use another generator. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I don't have enough glass for that. I'm running out of power here. Is it just working way busily? I know, fine. As you can hear, it's going... Uh, uh, and that's because the the generator here is getting more than enough power to cope with it all. So it's, I can probably upgrade these machines to another level as well. So I want to do the speed upgrades. Let's have a look. What can we do? Glass, osmium dust. We've got plenty of osmium dust. We don't have enough glass. We've got four here. And we need another four, was it? Sixteen. Well, I think we need if that will make 16 because then that's efficient for fuel. Not that I have a problem with the fuel these days. Yeah, that's working just fine. So let's get these speed upgrades made here. I can do two. Let's go and have a look what that effect has on the machine here. It's not whipping along fast, but we have to wait for the other upgrades. But it does look a little bit faster, so let's go downstairs. And hopefully by now we've got the other upgrades done. In fact, the next machine I want to do is I would like to do the um, electric furnace. So let's have a look at that while we're, while we're waiting for these things to smelt. It's not called an electric furnace, I wonder what it's called. The bins. I 
fuel wood heaters for below. There's got a lot of machines. Don't know what it looks like. Maybe factory might be good. Oops. What do we have for factories? Elite. Uh, Ah, smelting. That's what we want. A basic smelter. This one. Actually, we need this one first, don't we? Yes, we do. Which is fairly straightforward. Basic control circuits, redstone, glass, and the steel casing. So we need four more glasses for the steel casing. Unless I've got one built, which I have. Uh, in here they've actually finished so we can take these out of here let's get on with this one with my missing redstone no shortage of redstone now we also wanted to make this speed upgrade didn't we what am I short of uh, I'm short of the enriched alloy never mind let's make some more enriched alloy because that really goes fast now oops wrong one put this back 43 i will make about four of these i think that gives me um for 832 enriched alloys so i've got this enriched iron oh i've got to put this back in here to make steel dust Let's put those into there and get in 32 iron ready. Almost all of this. Let's shove the iron into here. Let's go through, in fact. Now that's it done. Steel dust is done. But as you can see, this was now fully upgraded in speed and energy. And it's coming in nice and fast. How did we need 16? We need enough for four. Not that work. Let's get the speed upgrade and we have two there, so we actually only want four of these. Let's just take one of these out of here. Oops, try again. It'll give me the six upgrades that I'm missing. Which I can then go up here and put in to place that is already doubled the fuel so let's put the upgrade in now and see what happens when I've got these upgrades in on the other 32 items there we go now let's take these out and as you can see now it really does whip through those fairly nicely and the energy cells have gone down a little bit not too significantly what we can also do of course now is to take the furnace I think I want the furnace downstairs I'm not sure I'm going to put it yet because I've run out of space but I suppose I could put it on top of here for the time being it's only a temporary place we can remove like that so the energy smelters here I don't know how fast this is let's have a look see what we've got in that box here copper let's take 64 copper and see how well this smelts these makes a good noise in fact let's take for the comparison compare that against the a furnace which has got enough in here enough charcoal in I hope and wait a few seconds let's while that's while that's processing let's go and get some more um, charcoal I should have plenty in here now I have a look I've basically that's empty that's got 64 in let's go and fill these two furnaces up with charcoal the reason I've been using charcoal until now is it's basically cheap. So it's only done five. Well, so it's about the same speed. 
So of course we now need to go and do the upgrades, which I will do not now. Because there's no point. I suppose I could do one. And just let these produce the ingots. Makes a good noise. Good graphics. Right. Next time, I think I've covered everything except for the except for the digital mine. I wanted to show you the world upgrade on that. It's night time, it doesn't matter because I've lit up the whole area. Right up to the village. I didn't actually show you my little farms. I got two farms for animals using the progressive automation. They're just down here. One with chickens in it and one with pigs. And the chicken one, of course, is collecting eggs. It's now full. And the pig one is just breeding pigs, which have probably run out of carrots now, so it's probably not breeding anymore. But I've got enough pigs for the time being. And enough eggs. All right, on the digital miner here, on the front of it, we have, we can stop that now, of course, and reset. We have upgrades. So I've got an anchor upgrade here. And that basically keeps the machine chunk loaded. There you are. Tells you exactly what he does. So that's that one. And now I've got this bio, this mole shear, which is going to be used for other things, the biofuel. Um, obviously thinking of forestry. And the very last thing here is I did take this and put some automation downstairs. So here I've got the stone crafter from Progressive Automation. This one's just making logs. This one here is making sticks. And this one here is combining the cobblestone and the sticks to make axes. And the axes are getting fed out. And I usually put some axes in here too. And so they're getting fed all the way around to the three wood farms. So here's one. And they've also now got axes in it. For some reason or other, that I don't understand. As the spruce saplings have started to go slowly. This is when I emptied this out just before the episode, so it seems that the oak chopping is working really well, and the jungle saplings are doing actually better than the um, spruce saplings. I don't know why. I planted there a few um, jungle saplings down here, and they produced a big tree. Right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode episode and until next time where i shall be doing some more decorative stuff i think i'll do the what i'm going to do is move the miner and i'll, I'll what i want is to take the miner somewhere quite a long way away but in the meantime i'm going to make some um ptfe from um, mechanism until then bye for now